Hello, friends! Our world is changing every second, and it is very important to keep up with it. Always stay abreast of the most important and relevant events. Just a month ago, the Lakyun Sekya Buddha in Myanmar was the tallest statue in the world. However, if you say that it is the highest today, you will most likely be ridiculed, because another statue managed to take the honorable first place. You probably want to keep up with the latest news, so allow us to refresh your memory and tell you about the most famous tall statues of the world. And of course, we will show you the new tallest statue in the world. Let's get it on! Christ the Redeemer Despite the fact that this statue is far from being the tallest in the world, we simply couldn't mention it in our list, because it is, firstly, the main symbol of Rio de Janeiro, and secondly, the symbol of Brazil as a whole. But thirdly, it is included in the list of the seven wonders of the world. All in all, the statue is very famous and very tall. Christ the Redeemer is made of concrete and soapstone. It stands on a pedestal 8 meters high and rises above for another 30 meters. It turns out that the total height of the statue together with the pedestal is 38 meters. For us personally, the most striking fact is that it was built a long time ago. How did people manage to build such a giant without the technologies we have today? Statue of Liberty Probably everyone in the world knows what the Statue of Liberty looks like. Its height without the pedestal is 46 meters, and with it, as much as 93 meters. It is the main attraction of New York, as well as a symbol of the United States of America. However, if you are not too keen on history, we will most likely surprise you now. The Statue of Liberty was not built in the U.S. or by people from the U.S. In fact, it was a gift from France, on the Cemetery of America's independence. And that's the reason why it is known as the Statue of Liberty. By the way, Gustave Eiffel, the person person behind the most famous tower of France worked on the creation of the steel support and supporting frame of the Statue of Liberty. The monument was built, then disassembled into 350 parts, packed in boxes, and then delivered to the right place and reassembled. By the way, in 1886, when the opening took place, the Statue of Liberty looked a little different. They made it from sheets of copper, which, due to humid air, oxidized and changed their shade to the green color we now see. The Motherland Calls you will have to go to Volgograd, Russia, in order to see this statue, but you won't regret the trip. Since the official opening, which took place in 1986, and for the next 22 years, it was considered the tallest statue in the world, if you don't count the pedestal. The size of the statue is amazing, 85 meters, and another 2 meters with the pedestal. The sculptor Yevgeny Volchitich built the sculpture of a woman, walking with the sword, representing the motherland, that is Russia, calling her sons to battle against the enemy. The weight of the structure is enormous, and exceeds 8,000 tons. The material used was concrete, which was mounted on a massive metal frame. By the way, it is interesting that until October 2018, the Motherland Calls was the highest non-religious statue in the world. Spring Temple Buddha we're going to talk right now about the third largest statue in the world. Its height is 108 meters, but don't forget about the impressive pedestal in the form of a lotus. First, along with the lotus, the Buddha statue, located in the Xiaokun Township in China, was only 128 meters high. To increase the effect of the statue on its visitors, an extra 25 meters were added to the pedestal. And by 2010, it was decided to turn the hill on which the monument stands into two pedestals. Thus, today, the total height of the whole structure is 208 meters. Lak Yun Sekya For 10 long years, this statue, opened in February 2008, was the tallest statue in the world. People came to Myanmar from all over the world to see this incredible sight. The size of the standing Buddha is so colossal that we are sure that not a single tourist left this place disappointed. The height of the statue itself is 116 meters. It is installed on a two-level octahedral pedestal resembling a pyramid, which is 13 meters high. It turns out that the total height of the monument is 129 meters. Statue of Unity Well, it's time to tell you about the statue that occupies the honorable first place in the list of the tallest statues. It became the tallest statue quite recently, on October 31st of this year. The Statue of Unity is located in India, to be more precise, in the state of Gujarat. The monument was erected in honor of Vallabhai Patel. During his life, he was the Deputy Prime Minister of India and one of the leaders of the movement for the independence of this country. The construction rises above the ground for 240 meters. The statue itself has a height of 182 meters, and the remaining 58 meters are occupied by the pedestal. The building turned out so incredibly huge that it is rather difficult to compare it with anything. But let's try anyway. The Statue of Unity is about the same height as four Statues of Liberty standing on top of each other. Not bad, huh? That's all for today. By the way, we would like to know, have you seen at least one of these statues with your own eyes? Tell us in the comments what you felt, because we haven't visited these places. See you later!